Hey, internet friends. Every day I wake up and it seems like there's another PSYOP in our once great country that was born out of the pursuit of freedom and liberty. Over the years, the United States has overcome countless challenges and obstacles, emerging as a land of opportunity and a testament to the human spirit. But are those days over? Or are we watching our great country unravel in front of our eyes? This week has been relentless. Something strange certainly is happening here in the United States. So for full clarity, I wanted to get it all laid out on a timeline. On May 16th, 2023, I reported on this channel that a photo had surfaced of the US flag flying upside down at the Capitol building. And we discussed what that meant. According to the US flag code, the American flag shouldn't be flown upside down with the stars at the bottom except as a signal of dire distress and instances of extreme danger to life or property. There were reports that officials had corrected the flag's orientation, that it was a mistake, an accident, and we moved on. Also reported on May 16th, 2023, the news story broke that about 60,000 pounds of ammonium nitrate, a chemical that can be used as fertilizer or, or a part of explosives, went missing while being shipped by train from Wyoming to California in April. At this point, there isn't much information out there, but it certainly seems like ammoni the ammonium nitrate was stolen. By the way, let's think about this critically. Who can move something that weighs 60,000 pounds from a train, from a train car? That someone or someones would have to have forethought and the right skills, the right equipment. This doesn't sound like something a random group or civilian or individual would or could do. We all know that the government likes to set up things that look like real attacks, then they use the fallout to make some brand new rules that change the way that society works altogether, like 9-11. In my professional opinion, it feels like a psyop or a false flag is brewing. On May 21st, 2023, a news story broke that a certain fella with a blackmail island once seemed to threaten to reveal an affair Bill Gates apparently had with a Russian bridge player. Great to see so many young people playing bridge. I love bridge. Uh, bridge helps you think. It's a game you can play your entire life and keep getting better and better. Uh, I think anybody who's good at bridge is gonna be great at a lot of things. Uh, so I. And really encourage people to get involved. Who are you? Bill Gates. <laughs> Why do you play like bridge? Uh, it's both fun and it, you learn how to think, you learn strategy. Two years ago, I said to everyone that I'm going to meet this guy. Nobody believed me. Um, last year, I played against him at the same table at the National Bridge Tournament in Washington, D.C. I didn't beat him, but I tried to kick him with my leg. very famous American actress. Her name is Mae West. And what she said is, bridge like sex. If you don't have a good partner, you better have a good hand. Um, Epstein had a way of sexually compromising people. Is that what Melinda was warning you about? No. I mean, it, it's... No, I, I had dinner with him uh, and that's all. The Wall Street Journal says that Jeffrey exploited Gates' 2010 affair in a threatening email in 2017. According to the story, Jeffrey sent the email after numerous failed attempts to get Gates to join his large nonprofit fund with J.P. Morgan. The Wall Street Journal stated that Antonova, the girl that Gates had an affair with, met Jeffrey in 2013 while seeking money for Bridge Planet, a firm that would teach others about her favorite game. Antonova, now a software engineer, told the journal that she didn't know about Epstein's crimes when she pitched to him and others for her business five years after his 2008 guilty plea and jail time for soliciting and procuring a minor for prostitution, which forced Jeffrey to register as a sex offender. So that whole story is probably BS. The theory is that, the prevailing theory is that Jeffrey recruited this girl who looks exactly like Bill Gates' daughter, which is creepy. She also looks to me exactly like Greta Thunderburger, the how dare, the how dare you, <laughs> how dare you to seduce Bill at this bridge event. I feel so lame repeating it because it's not even a lusty or intriguing storyline. This is single-handedly the worst billionaire falls in love with a normie smut synopsis I've ever read, which is a very popular subgenre amongst the Kindle e-reader community, but I digress. 
Here's one for you. Blackmail Island guy allegedly offs himself in August of 2019. Bill Gates pops everything off, hosting Event 201 just months later. Then everyone Jeffrey blackmailed either were CEOs who stepped down at the end of 2019, early 2020, remember that phenomenon, or they became the new enforcement for global tyranny circa March 2020. The timeline here is kind of sus to me. You know, I don't think that Jeffrey is dead. Listen to the song. The song is true. Only the good die young. Cockroaches will survive nuclear war. Jeffrey pulled a Hitler narrative and probably fled to Argentina or Israel. Perhaps related to these 60,000 pounds of missing ammonium nitrate, perhaps not, on May 22nd, 2023, a driver crashed an empty U-Haul truck into a security barrier near the White House in what federal officials believe was an intentional act. A Nazi flag was the only thing found in the truck, according to video and law enforcement sources. It's important that I show you what this white supremacist neo-Nazi with only a Nazi flag in his truck looks like. Wow. (laughs) There is some discussion that this could have been a test of White House security measures. For instance, if this U-Haul was full of explosives and a team of five or six people jumped out and quickly disposed of the gate guards. The gates could be opened and the truck could get through. So it's a perfect decoy, a perfect distraction if you yourself want to commit a crime or do something and not have anybody look. You would have them, you know, all looking at the White House, at this guy who is on the pavement next to his neo-Nazi flag. Also reported on Monday, May 22nd, a story came out stating that more than 50 senators have received satellite phones for emergency communications, saying the phones would allow senators to communicate if a natural or man-made crisis knocks off and regular connections are cut off in their region. This story here is the only one that really doesn't alarm me in any way, shape, or form because it's like they're making a non-story a story, and that is what is drawing my attention. Why did they publish this on this date? Because it seems like typical protocol for senators to have satellite phones. That just seems like common sense. But why would they publish that on Monday, May 22nd? And curiously, on, a, on the same day, May 22nd, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, came out with a Twitter video to fight misinformation online. Are you prepared? The internet is going down later this week. It's going to be crazy. Find out more below. The internet is going down later this week. The it's going to be crazy. Be crazy. The real truth the government refuses to tell you. Previous account banned for sharing the truth. Wait a minute. This is misinformation. You may be spreading misinformation unintentionally. Which is very curious because the BBC came out with BBC Verify the same week. Almost like the United States and Great Britain and all these other countries aren't really that separate. And they all march in lockstep with one another. But anyway, in this video, there's one narrative of misinformation they perpetuated that was that the internet could go down. They happened to release the video the same day the senators were reportedly issued their satellite phones in case the internet really did go down, which is very curious timing, don't you think? Anyway, that's all I've got for you today, internet friends. I hope laying all that out on a timeline was helpful. Let me know if it was. Let me know what you think, internet friends. You know, I always look forward to reading your comments. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, and supporting my channel on Patreon. Bye. What difference at this point does it make? Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. Nope, no weapons over there. We should not argue in the context of yesterday. We should really first analyze how the world has dramatically changed and is changing in an accelerating way. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank Thank you. you. Now watch this drive.